What's up, Dance World? I told y'all I was coming back. It's been a while. And every time I tell y'all that I come back, I'm always introducing another diamond in the rough. This time, I went up north and sought out one of the baddest brothers that's in the game. None other than Dancer 64 itself. What's up, man? Oh man, another one like the other one, man. Glad to be here. Absolutely, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, met Dancer 64 this year, 2018. He'd been doing remarkable work for a long time, but I had the, the blessing and the presence to meet him at the uh, original Boogaloo Barbecue this year. And uh, he came out, he did his thing, man. And I, I'm so impressed, brother. You know, tell the people who you are, brother. Yes, you got it right. I'm Dancer 64, a.k.a. Toy Man. Yeah. Some, some call me JD, Sacramento, California. I'm a dinosaur in this, man. Like you said, a diamond in the rough. You know, I'm just somebody never been in a group or nothing like that, so that's probably why you guys just now hearing from me. But I ain't, I ain't sprung chicken. I ain't green. I've been doing this. All right. So tell the people, um, how long you been dancing, man? Uh, about 44 years, man. Wow, 44 truth, years. Man. About 44 years. About 44 years. Yeah. 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 44 years. So man. when did you originally start dancing and you felt like you were going to be a dancer? Uh, hmm. Probably at the age of 12, maybe 12. I was dancing for my family when I was a little kid. I was the entertainer of the family. <laughs> Once I started hitting the streets and meeting new cats with the same uh, art, so I seen myself back then at age 12, 13, that I was going to take it to the limit in a matter of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the original story from most of the OGs and the dinosaurs in the game, man. We did that thing for our family down in the living room, cut on the music. You know how it went. So uh, where did you originally... Learn how to dance. <clears throat> originally learn how to dance. Well, I originally learned the freestyle boogaloo in uh, Oakland, California as a, a youngster. I think I was about uh, about 12. I had a summer program. My mom lived East Oakland, 696 in Birch, you know, back then. So... I ended up in a summer program. I learned how to gymnastic, backflips, and dance. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's incredible, man. Right. So way back in the day, and if you don't mind, brother, I don't want to put your business out there, but tell the people how old you are, dancing 64. Oh, man. I'm 54, man. I've been 55 <laughs> in May, man, and loving it. Oh, wow. Yeah. 55, man. Yeah. Man, and you doing it like you doing it at 50. 54, you're going to be 55 next year, man. Yeah, you lo you're looking like some of these youngsters, man, but you're looking a little harder than these youngsters, man. Yeah, man, because these youngsters ain't felt no pain, man. You know what I mean? They, <laughs> they, ain't, they, ain't, they, ain't felt, they ain't felt it yet. They think they're on the pavement, but they're not on the pavement, man. They ain't felt it yet. When they get to feel the loneliness, sadness, disappointment, deceit, and all that, then you can give them a strike. Right now, man, they, they're in self-destruction mode, man, which I ain't liking. But that's another story. Okay, we'll come back for the second part of the interview on that. Let's keep it to the dancer, man. So you learned how to do it in Oakland, man. You pioneered on up to Sacramento, and you've been smashing and celebrating and, um, you know, putting it down in Sacramento for many, many years, representing the Sacramento area, brother. And uh, I take my hat off and salute you, man, because the style is impeccable. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So, um... Now, up in SAC, man, you've been smashing up here for many, many years. And um, how do you think the dance has evolved since you were a youngster and up until today? Uh, a whole complete 360, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, 880, 360, whichever way you want to go. It evolved. Uh, you know, the newer generation took it to another level. A lot of watered down, but, you know, it's, it's, that, that's what they do. That's what it is. 
and I accept that. You know what I mean? Me, I don't water nothing down. I'm going to give you the real, to the root, to the bone, on how to do it. You know what I mean? Without being worried. You know, you get them woos and wahs and crowds, woos and wahs. Yeah. That means they're out there doing tricks. Right. They're doing tricks instead of moving. Move. You know, let them feel you. See, my style comes from the streets anyway, man. So it's a big difference from the new generation and, and where I'm from. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, in other words, you you spoke about the pain and all that you go through, and you express that through the dance. So, your style of dance and where you came from, it's an expression. And when I see you dance personally, man, I can look through that dance and see that story, brother. And and that's what inspires me all the time. And like I told you, you know, I stay on camera, man. I keep it real. You inspired me this year, brother, just mm -hmm. by looking at your story through your movement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. Um, explain that to the kids, man. You know, that storytelling by movement is really, really a serious craft. Right. Do you agree? I agree totally. Boogaloo. Boogaloo come from the streets. Boogaloo is expression. Boogaloo is style. Boogaloo is swag. It's attitude, personality. So whoever you are and whatever style you're doing, when you cry, when you express your art, you pretty much uh, displaying your character. You know, your character. If you're a goofy dancer or whatever, then that's who you are. But when you boogaloo, boogaloo is streets. Boogaloo is gangster. Boogaloo is fun, but it's not a game. Absolutely. Boogaloo is on who you are. That's what Boogaloo is. Real Absolutely. Talk. Absolutely. So when you see me dancing and doing my thing, that's who I am. I'm, I'm expressing sadness, some of my times, loneliness, disappointment, times I've been locked up, the times when the female lied to me, the times when a couple of my partners passed on, the times where I might have hit a jackpot, good day, bad day, all that's Boogaloo. All that's boogaloo, along with these, along with these, along with these, then your hips, then your legs. You feel me? Everything. I got the blueprint. You don't even know it. <laughs> man, man, I'm enjoying this interview, brother. So, man, let's see. Um, who would you say inspired you as a young dancer? If you've seen any, you can name some, mm -hmm. you know, just to get them you know, they shout out. Mm -hmm. And is it any young dancers you see now that you impressed by? Well, the OGs, man. You know, I, I when I came, you know, I was born and raised in Sac. I spent a little time in Oakland. This is me, you know, Sacramento. Uh, I had some partners, man, that was a couple of years older than me that uh, they style and they swag and they person, and the whole shit, it reminded me of the Bay Area. You know, they they, they, they had it, they, they remind me of the Bay Area. So that's probably why I remind you of people that you grew up with. Absolutely. You know, because my OGs got out just like the Bay Area did. It's just unfortunate that, you know, they died off, laid off, sat out, got out. You know, some died, some lost the passion. You can't, once you lose that passion, you know what I mean? You might as well just sit on down and grab your rocket chair, man. You know what I mean? But the, the person that inspired me was some of my older pilots out in Oak Park, some in Del Paso Heights, some in North Highlands. Then I got, I met, not met, but I encountered a group called Derrick and Company from the Bay Area. They came down here to SAC and they got out at the Downtown Convention Center. And I, what when year I was that? Uh, 70s. Had to be 70s. Yeah, it was 76, 70, no, it was 80, 79. Uh, it was in the late 70s. If I, I, maybe. 81, 83, one in there. It, I can't remember the exact day, but you know, you had like uh, 15 groups, and Derek and Company was the last one showed up. Everybody was, you know, going hysterical, waiting on this group. It took like 45 minutes to arrive. They finally arrived, and when I seen them boys come out, I knew right then and there, there's levels to dancing. Ah. Because I didn't watch 12, 13 groups already. A couple ah. few groups from Sacramento, bad, bad Imperial Wizards. Derby Dancers, Split Decision, Split Decision, Soul Sisters Unlimited, Daddy Rich and the Star Child. You know, I can, I can go I can go on and on, right? But when Derek and Company came, uh, uh. Uh, 
I didn't have to set the bar. You know what I mean? It, right. Uh, everything yeah. that I heard about him was true. Yeah. The boy was tough. So I took it upon myself that I wanted to be <clears throat> just as bad or tougher from yeah. all, all my all my older partners that I grew up under. I wanted to be the toughest dude. You right. Know what I mean? But unfortunately, uh, that's kind of hard to categorize because, like you said, you got the youngsters coming up now. Right. And I got I got to give some props to a few youngsters out there. Uh, in their category, as far as dub stepping, I get uh, Marquis Scott. Okay. The dub stepper. Uh, I don't know too many electric boogaloos. I don't even understand electric boogaloo. What's the difference between electric boogaloo and boogaloo? I don't know. So we'll get back to that to later. But then we have uh, the young boogalooers. Ah. Uh, I don't know none. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know no young boogalooers, but the older guys, uh, they they pretty much was involved in the group. The guys that inspired me lately, you know, that's, right. that's, that's something else to be inspired in your later years. Right. But right. I've also been inspired. There's gentlemen of production. Ah. There's uh, Derek and Company. Right. There's Derek and Company. You know, them two, them the two, them the two that's in my head, you know, after, after meeting people that knew Derek, it kind of brought back flashes, you know what I mean? And when right. I seen him on stage and, you know, and then when I watched a few clips of Gentleman, Gentleman uh, of Production and I seen this one particular video when it was in white tuxedos and then I went back and I watched the Black Surgeons, and I watched uh, 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 a few more Bay Area groups. Them boys, gentlemen, production man. I'm not saying that because you interviewing me, but you guys was flawless. So I see why you guys was five time champion. So you inspired me also to want to get out there and, and make myself known. And also, I'm a deep throner. <laughs> I have to let you know that, but we'll get to that later. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, deep throning. I I I just want to. You know, keep it where it is, right quick, right fast. Mm -hmm. Dethroning that—that that sounds like you got some intentions to uh, get out there and uh, make some things happen for yourself, and you know, and for my generation, because right now generation. my right. generation is dead. I don't know what they're doing. They're sitting on thrones. They're sitting on crowns. I don't know what they're doing, but they're not doing nothing. Right. So if you still active, then you are fair game to me because I'm coming for you. Because king dethrone kings. Right. That's how the game goes. It's always been like that. Then we come with this politics and all these rules. I'm not a politician, so I don't go by dance rules at all. You don't have to let me in. I'll make my way. I dance my way in. You can't deny good dancers. That's There's right. a lot of good dancers out there. And I give all the good dancers props. But some of y'all is in the way. Some of y'all will be practicing and going through sessions for the rest of your life before you're ready to make a move. You have to make a move. And I'm ready to start dethroning people, man, for real. All right. Well, this is segment one of the interview with Dancer 64. It's your boy, Dub, behind the camera. And uh, listen, man, y'all see it. Y'all hear it. It's real. He ain't making it up. And uh, I've seen it for myself. This cat is a real oh, man, cat. Tell you on the so, man, let's step out of here. Put some sweat out of here. Uh, yeah, my Thank you. 